We've known for years that um, the health and well-being of so many people is dependent on often overworked, stressed, and unpaid caregivers. And it's been a problem that's so big, it's almost been hard to see. But COVID has really changed all that, and it's helped to shine a light on just how critical these unpaid caregivers are. It's been, I think, a kind of hidden issue. It's time we brought it into the light, addressed it uh, as comprehensively as we can. In this year, we lost my mother in April, my father in June, and my uh, younger sister uh, last month. And in each instance, uh, there was a combination of caregiving. My brothers and sisters and I have worked through this process now three different times this year. As you're going through an experience uh, like that in caregiving and in supporting uh, family members, you also need to be thinking about your own health, uh, about taking time to exercise, uh, making sure you're eating right, uh, making sure you're talking to somebody so that you have a resource and that you can unburden some of what you're dealing with in going through the experience. Caregivers are more likely to delay needed care, avoid their own urgent care. A family caregiver is twice as likely to report anxiety and depression, five times more likely to have increased uh, use of substances and 10 times more likely, sadly, to consider suicide. My, my brother was very seriously injured last June. Um, and so then for the last year, I mean, I've been his, his caregiver on an ongoing basis. It was wearing physically, it was certainly wearing mentally. And one of the things we've been doing for years has been providing services for caregivers who are not our customers. So if, if the patient is our customer and the caregiver is caring for them, they are as, every bit as important to us as the person who, quote, has coverage. We wanted to make sure that caregivers had a place to go and educate themselves, where they could look at trusted sources and understand that they're doing the right thing or that there's something else they might want to try. And so having those education sources was obviously one way in which we wanted to support uh, caregivers. As a health plan, we're uniquely positioned to help identify caregivers because we're on the phone with them every day. We can connect them with resources, services, and supports that can make their lives better. Um, and as part of that, we can help them recognize that they can be better and that they're not alone. And so we just should remember that that friend or family member or colleague or neighbor who's caring for a sick friend or relative or child or parent, they're us. And there's gonna be a time where we need support as a caregiver, as a patient. I've been there, we're all gonna be there. And so reach out, acknowledge, recognize, and support caregivers in your lives.